Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my 26 things that I have learned in 26 years. The day this video is going up is my 26th birthday. Yay! So shout out to all the other Sagittarius peeps out there. Um, and I just thought this would kind of be fun. Obviously this is not everything I have learned in 26 years because let's be honest, like, your parents have to teach you how to use a toilet <laughs> when you're little. I mean, there's a lot we learn over the years. Um, yeah, that's a thing. And so I just made a list. Some of these are funny. Some of these are serious. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. So the first thing is that not everyone is going to like you. And that is okay. And this one was really hard for me because if somebody didn't like me, I was just like, well, what did I do wrong? What can I do to get them to like me? Like, I was one of those people where if somebody didn't like me, it would really bother me. And now I'm just kind of like, meh. <laughs> like, there's so many people in the world, like, someone's bound to not like you. Um, and it's okay. Like, just move on. You will find people that like you. I promise they're out there uh, the next one is honestly be yourself because people are going to judge you no matter what you do um, and I know it sounds very cliche but it's so true because if um, you try and fit in and you do things that you think are going to help you people are still gonna judge you and you're not gonna be happy because you're not going to be yourself um, where if you're yourself yeah they might judge you for it but I mean they're gonna do it anyway so you might as well be happy um, I've definitely had times in my life where people have judged me for certain things and I've just been like whatever like the majority of the time I wear black and um, I'm actually not wearing black for once but um I know some people probably look at me and they're like what on earth is she wearing like she looks like a goth chick which is nothing wrong with that but I'm sure you guys know some people give me like a sideways glance or if I'm wearing like a blue lipstick or something and I'm like I like my style I like how I look so the next one is to always make sure your lights are off when you get out of your vehicle if you have automated lights don't have to worry about this I now have automated lights so I don't have to worry about this anymore but um, if you do make sure you turn your lights off because your battery dies it's not fun it's happened to me before. Number four also has to do with vehicles. When you are getting out of the vehicle, make sure you have your keys before you lock it. Because I used to always get out and then lock it like on my way out. And I would leave my keys in my truck all the time. I can't even tell you how many times. I have now not done this in like four years, which is amazing. Because there was one year where I did it like five times. Um, so yeah, that's my little uh, tip. If you are getting out of your car, make sure you have your keys on you. Even if you think you have your keys on you, even if you're like, I'm pretty sure I stuck them in my purse, make sure your keys are on you. <laughs> Number six is be willing to see somebody else's perspective. So I don't mean this for certain groups of people. So <laughs> what I mean by that is um, like, uh, I don't want to get political, but like when somebody tells me, um, to like respect a Nazi's point of view. Like that's not gonna happen. Uh, for one, I'm Jewish and I'm a descendant of Holocaust survivors so I'm not willing to see a Nazi's perspective <laughs> and I don't feel like I should. I mean if you and somebody else slightly disagree on something or if somebody else just has a different perspective than you on something because that definitely happens where somebody can be faced with the same situation and have a completely different perspective and you're like I don't know why you think that like you that's just kind of like your gut reaction to things sometimes is like I don't know why you would think that but um yeah be willing to see things from other people's perspectives understand that not everybody sees things the same way that you do unless they're Nazis number five is that it is actually better to ask for help than to struggle uh, I feel like a lot of times people don't want to do this I'm definitely somebody that will ask for help like when I really need it <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of those people that doesn't like to admit when I need help so this one is sometimes sometimes hard for me because I just want to do everything by myself um, but it's always worse if you actually need help and you don't ask for it things will get worse and then eventually you will crack down and need help and then by, by that point everything's worse I don't know if that made sense but uh, number seven is that there are some arguments not worth having. 
uh, pick your battles, essentially. There are some arguments where even now somebody will start and I'm like, you know what? It's not worth it. We're not going to change each other's minds. We are just going to get angry. Let's just not. And um, this can be in real life or on Facebook because I've definitely had people try to initiate things on Facebook and I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm, hmm. I made that mistake once, never again, mm, no. Don't argue on Facebook. <laughs> That's not a separate point, but just don't do it. It's not smart. Don't argue over text either. Um, those aren't other things that I have learned over the years. It's just don't do it. Number eight is that if you have free time, and I'm using free time in quotations, uh, while, you in while you're in college or university, use that time to catch up on homework. This is actually something my RA told me, so if you're sitting there waiting for, even if it's like 10 minutes, just waiting for somebody, get out of the book and start reading it for class or something, because um, those 10 minutes add up eventually when you do it often enough. And um, I found that really helpful, so I thought I would share that with you. Uh, when you are in the car, dance and belt your lungs out if you want to. Because even if people see you, you're never going to see those people again. People going in the cars by you are strangers. Me personally, I will dance and sing like crazy. I don't care. I just don't. People will come up in the car next to me and be looking at me like, what on earth? And I'm like... I don't care. I like the song. This is my jam. Like, I I don't care. I just don't. Maybe that's just the lesson through all of this. Elizabeth doesn't care. Nine is not nine. Nope, we're on ten. Ten is always tell people when you are upset with them. So this can be in a relationship, friendship, between your siblings, friends, what have you. Um... I always tell people when you're upset with them because a lot of times people don't know that you're upset, let alone why you're upset. I've definitely had this happen where I was mad at somebody and they didn't even realize it. And it's just a waste of time, really, to not talk about it because nothing gets done. Like, nothing will get done if you never tell the person. So always communicate, tell people when you're upset about something, whether it's something just in general or that they did. Number 11 is that it's okay to alter your appearance as long as you are doing it for you and not for others. So this can be things like makeup, changing your hair, changing your style. Um, obviously there are a lot of things you can do for your appearance. Appearance? What? Appearance. Uh, for me personally, I know when I was a teenager, I viewed makeup as a chore. It was something that I had to do uh, to gain approval for my peers and to not be criticized for my acne and so for me I like dreaded putting on makeup for years until I found the creativity behind it and I started putting it on for me instead of other people so now I love putting on my makeup it's like one of my favorite things to do now um, and I've dyed my hair every single color you can really like it's been purple um, it's been bright red, it's been black, it's been brown, it's been like dark auburn. Um, I've done all sorts of things to my hair. I've done like weird ombre things with my hair. Um, I've done all sorts of weirdness. I'm like, my foot's falling asleep. <laughs> I've done all sorts of things to my hair and it was never for anybody else's benefit. It was always because I wanted to. Uh, haven't dyed it in a while now, but I kind of want to. I'm itching to dye it which a lot of people hate when I mention that. But um, yeah, make sure you're doing it for you and not other people. Uh, number 12. Number 12 is very, very specific. Um, if you have physical therapy, make sure you keep on it because if you don't, you will face the consequences later. So if you have an injury or something and you need to go to physical therapy, keep on it. Keep going, do what you're supposed to at home because it will affect you later if you don't do it. Trust me. Number 13 is to recognize the accomplishments you do on a daily basis. Something a therapist once had me do was to make a list of things that I had accomplished that day. Even if it was like, I only pressed the snooze button once. Um, I brushed my teeth. Like, it could seriously be the smallest things. Um, and that was really helpful for me and I kept like a diary of it and then when I was having a bad day I would look through it and be like 
okay, I did do stuff. I did accomplish something because um, especially when you are struggling with something like depression or anxiety, it can sometimes feel like you're not doing anything. You're not succeeding in any, anything and your brain is just like won't shut up and yeah. I'm sure some of you understand what I'm talking about and sometimes you just feel like you haven't really succeeded or done anything. It's really not true because um, I've definitely had days where I just did not want to get out of bed and I don't mean because it was comfortable I just mean because my depression was that bad so getting out of bed that day was a big deal to me um, so I would definitely recommend doing that now, you don't necessarily even have to keep a list if you don't want to um, but even just at the end of the day kind of thinking about like what you did and what you succeeded in number 14 kills me um, <laughs> I am simply not going to have enough time in my life to read all the books that I want and I have to live with that. I still don't like it, but it is a fact. There are too many books out there. I don't have enough time. I'm not gonna be able to read them all. It makes me sad, but it's a fact. Number 15 is that none of us know what we're doing. We are all figuring it out. None of us really know. I'm not just talking about parents, just people in general. None of us know. I mean, parents, y'all know what I'm talking about. We all know what we're doing. We like to pretend like we do, but we don't. Um, but people in general, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, we are all going through this the first time around. Like, <laughs> unless you can, like, remember past lives or something, or I don't know. But, I mean, this is your first try at it. First and only, depending on what you believe. I don't know. I don't know if I'm making any sense. But we're all figuring it out at the same time. Nobody really knows what they're doing. Even if they act like they do. None of us do. Most of us just make it up as we go. Number 16 is that just because you love someone doesn't mean they are meant to be in your life or are good for you. And um, this is something I've had to tell myself and other people because it is true. Um, I've had friends tell me about a relationship where they were in where the other person just treated them like crap. And they were like, but I really love them. And I'm like, sometimes just because you love someone doesn't mean that they're meant to be there. Doesn't mean they're good for you. I know it sucks because you love them, but it doesn't mean that they need to be in your life. And that's a hard one. I know it's still a hard one for me. And this doesn't have to be in romantic relationships either. This can be like family, friendships. This can, this can be anybody, really. Anybody that you care for. Doesn't mean that they have to be in your life. Especially if they treat you badly, if they're toxic. Nope. And you'll be happier afterwards. After you break it off. Honestly, for a while you might be sad, you might miss the idea of the person, you might not necessarily miss the person, but um, in the long run it's so much better to just cut toxic people out. Number 17 is that every situation is temporary. Um, this was something I think I actually picked up at basic training um, because it's true. Every situation is temporary. My basic training was 10 weeks. It's temporary. Um, if you're going through something, it is temporary. When I was in middle school and I was being bullied, that was temporary. Everything passes. Everything will get better. I promise. I've been through some hard times in my life and reminding myself, I will just close my eyes and say, this is temporary. This is temporary. This will pass. And doing that really helps me through a lot of things. So if you try that, I definitely recommend because it might help you as well. Number 18 is don't let other people tell you what does and does not look good on you. It's okay to take advice, but ultimately, if you feel confident and think you look nice, that is all that matters. Because I've definitely had people say, don't really know about that outfit or just something or really that blue lipstick. You know what I mean. Um, and I'm like, yeah, I look fabulous. I don't care what you think. Obviously, if you're out with friends and you're like, what do you think about this? Like, that's fine. But ultimately, it's, you know, what you feel confident in. Like, you do you. If you feel like you look confident and sexy or whatever, not sexy if you're under 18 because that's weird because I'm sorry, but you're a child. Um, yeah, I forgot to say now because I had to derail for a second. But, um, yeah, if you feel confident in what you're wearing and what you did to your hair, what you did with your makeup, that is all that matters. Nobody else's opinion that matters. Not even your significant other. Nope. Just your own. Number 19 is kind of a funny one. Uh, cilantro tastes like soap to me. 
I don't know how people eat it. Um, if you didn't know, cilantro to some people tastes like soap. I have no idea how anybody eats it, but, um, I mean, you do you, but when I taste it, it tastes like so. Number 20 is that dry shampoo is freaking amazing. And oh my gosh, I wish this had been a thing when I was a teenager. Maybe it was and I just didn't pay attention. I don't know, because I remember discovering it in college and being like, what is this magical substance? Because my hair is naturally oily, so even though I just washed, washed it yesterday, there is still oil caught up in here and I did use dry shampoo but it's later in the day so I probably need to do it again but um yeah I have naturally oily hair and dry shampoo shaves shaves me what <laughs> saves me a lot because my hair is just always oily no matter what I do number 21 I kind of already talked about is to cut toxic people out of your life and even if they're family it is better to cut toxic people out and we will all meet toxic people at some point in our lives it's just gonna happen and it's hard to do but you know afterwards it's so much better I've actually like accidentally fallen out with like toxic people like I moved away or something and then I look back on it and I'm like person really wasn't good for me why did I stick in this friendship why did I do this um yeah just just cut them loose not worth it Number 22 is that you are never going to be able to make the right amount of pasta. So just make all of it. <laughs> That's what I do. I have a thing of pasta. I make all of it. I'm like, you know what? I already know I'm not going to make the correct amount. So I'm just going to make the whole darn thing and have leftovers for three days. That's fine. Number 23 is that bread is amazing and there's a million ways to make it. Why is everything about food? <laughs> I think I was hungry at this point while making the list. But I really like bread and there's a bunch of different ways to make it. I'm just throwing that out there. Number 24 is something that my Uncle Greg actually told me. When um, you are at a stoplight and it turns green, before you go, do you know what you should do? Look both ways. This has actually saved me a few times because if somebody is going to run the red light and you just go, there's a very good chance they're going to hit you. So if you take that extra second and look both ways you will see that car coming. And this has saved me quite a few times. Even when I'm a passenger, I still do this. And um, I've had it happen where the other person is driving and I'm like, watch out! And they you know, slam on the brakes and then the car goes eh! like right by us. And I'm like, that would have hit us. Like, that's terrifying. So definitely look before you go. Please. <laughs> Number 25, I didn't know what number we were at. <laughs> Everyone processes and handles things differently. Some things that are hard to other people aren't hard for others. Some things that are easy for other people aren't easy for others. It's just how we are and it really drives me nuts when people invalidate something that you're going through because to them it would be nothing. But I mean, to you it could feel like your world is crashing. And really there's nothing wrong with that. We all handle things differently. We all have different breaking points. So if you're going through something and somebody wants to tell you that it's nothing, don't talk to that person about it then. Honestly, go talk to someone else. Talk to somebody that can sympathize with you, that will talk you through it, um, will actually help you because somebody just telling you like, oh, just get over it. It's not that bad. Like, that's not helpful. Get away from that person. Number 26 is kind of cheesy, but I wanted to do it. Uh, you can do anything you put your mind to, and if you try hard enough. And I know it sounds really cheesy, but I mean, it's true because, I mean, I'm sitting here talking to a camera, and this is something I never thought I was going to be able to do. Uh, I've talked about before how I suffer from anxiety, and it took me forever to actually sit down in front of a camera, and I feel like I've just started getting comfortable in front of it, and I've been on here for five months now. <laughs> um, but I remember like shaking, like I was so nervous for so long um, when recording. I don't even know how long it took me to like stop doing that. Um, and I don't know, I'm really proud of myself for doing that, by the way. I'm like not trying to tap myself on the back or anything, but I mean. That's definitely one of my successes for the year is being able to start a YouTube channel because I didn't think I would be able to. Um, and it doesn't even have to be something that big, really. Um, 
like something that I'm trying to work towards, which is, this is going to sound silly to some people, but one of the things that um, I struggle with because of my anxiety is going to the grocery store by myself. Um, I think it's because it's a loud, crowded place with people I don't know. Um, yeah, if I go by myself, I, I can't. <laughs> I haven't gone by myself to the grocery store in so long now because it it makes me so anxious. Um, I've had panic attacks in the middle of a grocery store and um, it's something I'm working on. And there are certain points where it feels like I'm never going to get there. But working on it, I will eventually. It might be a year or two. It might be a while. It might be a decade before that happens. But... As long as I continue to work on it, it'll happen. And that's for anything in your life. It can be something little, it can be something small. As long as you work at it, you can reach your goals. You can do things you never thought you'd be able to do. Like, I once um, scaled down a 50-foot wall, and I'm terrified of heights. <sighs> I never thought I would be doing something like that. I never thought I would be able to. I was shaking the entire time. But I mean... I did it. I didn't die. Um, I was scared, but I did it. So, I mean, there are just things that you never thought that you would do or be able to do that you will if you put your mind to it. That instance, I didn't have a choice. I was at basic training. There was no choice in that matter, but I definitely never pictured myself doing that. Um, I didn't even know that was a thing you had to do at basic training when I signed up. Which was probably a good thing, because I probably would have, like, made myself go into a panic attack thinking about it. But, um, yeah, it's so weird to think of other things that I thought I would never be able to do or would never do that I have. And other things that I still really want to do. I actually want to go skydiving, even though I'm scared of heights. I don't know what that's about, but I want to do it. It's just kind of like a facing my fears thing. Like, I still go on roller coasters, even though I'm scared of heights. I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. But, um, yeah, I felt like that was a good one for the last one because, I mean, 26, I'm okay with my age. I don't feel like I'm old or young. I'm just like, that's my age. I feel my age. You know, like, I don't feel old per se. Per se. I mean, sometimes I do when I'm around younger people. But, um,. <laughs> I'm actually okay with my age, and I feel like I've accomplished a lot in 26 years, and I'm really excited to see what else that I do in the upcoming years, and yeah, I'm just excited, and it was just kind of fun to think about these things, and yeah, I can definitely do another one of these next year, try and do 27 different things. I don't know, but um... Yeah, I hope you guys did find this interesting. I know a lot of people kind of do these kinds of videos, so wanted to do my own. And yeah, I'm actually getting a tattoo on my birthday. So the day you're watching this, I'll be getting a tattoo. Um, I'm actually going to be getting an arrow right here. Uh, a lot of people get arrows um, to remind themselves that an arrow always moves for always move forward. Um, and we always move forward in life. And I really like that. A lot of people who um, have depression or have been suicidal or have been um, cutters in the past get them to remind themselves to always move forward. And um, that's something really symbolic to me and means a lot to me. So I want to get that on my birthday, um, which I can definitely vlog. Um, I can't really ask you now if you'd like to see me vlog because at this point I'll already be doing it. But um, I will try and vlog. I will try and show you guys. But um, I've been rambling long enough now, so that's it for this video. I hope you did like it. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that jazz. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My links are in the thingamajigger. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!